I got this John Seeds uh, chainsaw. I think I've already made a video of it. I don't know. I can't think if I've done it or not. And yeah, um, oh shit, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna try and get it going. I may as well. Um, I'll be able to. Pro I'll probably be able to get the motor running. But as far as it being a chainsaw, the clutch is seized up. Um, that might be something simple. Uh, the carburetor's pretty dirty. Like it's it's like it's been underwater or something because the carburetor's all rusted up inside. And the first thing to do is a recoil spring, and the one in there had actually snapped. But what I've done, if I can find it, which I probably can't, that's the way I roll. Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, I've actually used a Victor recoil spring and put it in there, but I put it in, in I need to shorten it because at the moment you can pull it out, but it, it, it's too, there's too much spring tension and you're pulling against the spring and c combine that with compression of the motor and you wouldn't be able to pull it. So I need to shorten that Victor recoil spring a bit. And what you do with these recoil springs, if you ever need to reshape them, is you heat them up with a blowtorch because that's spring steel you can't just bend it. If you bend it once it'll probably work but even then it probably might snap. So you've got to heat it up. I just use this little lighter here. I found this it's a bit broken but it works good. So yeah that's what I'm going to do first. Just make a recoil spring. So you can see there's way too much spring in there. Um, I have already shortened it probably by about uh, 30 centimeters. So I'll just have to take it out which isn't fun because it springs open on you and it hits you but I'll have to do it. So now, now you can see there's a lot less spring in there and it's hooked on and now I should just be able to place this in and um, hook up a sort of pull cord and hopefully I should be able to maybe even just get the motor to fire just by putting a bit of petrol in it and we'll see. So as probably mentioned maybe on the video before I need to buy a carby set for this for this guy I'm fixing this up for but I'm thinking if the carby set's 20 bucks that's pretty cheap but I'm going to be paying, you know, five, te probably ten bucks postage for it. So I don't want to pay that. Well, I will have to pay it, but I don't want to just pay that for one set. So I'm going to be going through all these, these. I got four Briggs and Stratton, so I got six, but these two are missing parts, so I probably might not look at those too much. But I'm going to be going through these couple of Briggs and Strattons and seeing if they need gaskets today, and then probably um depending on that, see what happens, see if I need to order some. This one is missing its um, little dipper. It's a Morrison, it's made in 89, I think, no, 85. Yeah, 85. So I've got a spare um, Briggs over here, motor, which has the little dipper thingy. So I'll take that off and put it on and um, check all these Briggs out and see, see what needs happening. Uh, I found a boss for this one. The boss is, um, that's the boss is like that piece there. It's the piece which it sort of mounts on. And the boss which this one needs is $20 plus uh, $30 for the blade. So that's 50 plus probably plus 10 for the gap diaphragm. So I'm not going to put a, um, a proper ninja style blade. I'm just going to put, put a disc on it and sell it like that. Um, I'll this one, I'll just get into a new set of blades. That one's got decent blades. Um, it's old, as you can see, the catcher's had a thing, it's like a repair done. I don't know how much I'd get for that. Probably not much, but anything's better than nothing. Sort of thing. Um, this one here is going. Um, oh, that's on eBay at the moment. Uh, I've realised that this fuel line I bought, this 30 metres of fuel line, it's not fuel line, it's, it's, it's just some sort of tubing that they can that this eBay seller has said it's fuel line and they're a proper seller, they're a store. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't get it. It's gone really hard. The air line, the vacuum lines are nice and soft, but this fuel line where the fuel is has gone really solid, like like the Victor's fuel line does after years. Um, I've replaced the pull cord on this motor, which is on that blue base. And this one's gonna have like a toggle switch. I just want to see how well that sells, having a toggle switch, and that's come off. Um, I hope I put that on the wrong one, I'll work it out soon. And, um, what else, what else, what else, I painted the muffler in black paint. And also, I'm going to be reconditioning the cylinder head for that two-stroke. 
and also one down here and this one here both of those have bad um, bad heads, they're warped I guess but I put new gaskets and that still didn't fix it um, but this one here should go, I had it going so I might pull it out and have a look at it and that one needs a new diaphragm in it this mower here, it's pretty old um, I think it's uh, I'll have a look at the page if I can find it. And also, I've got this um, BK30. Um, I had two people over picking up stuff and they noticed it, and I don't know if they're interested, but it's a bit rare. I think it's a yeah VK30. I'm guessing it's made. Its serial number is 569170. So I'm guessing that's made in 56. Um, I wouldn't know. The wheels shit. But the wind-up starter works, so I'm gonna. I might just sell this as is. Um, I'm just getting prepared so that when my dad gets home, we can reshape these heads. And I'm just, I'm just thinking about it, and I thought of a really very crude method of seeing where they are actually worn. Is these heads are identical, so I put them together and holding them together, holding them up to the sun, you can see a little crack of light through there. Yeah, so. And that's where they were leaking out the bottom around that edge and out the bottom around there. So I've got a piece of glass and some wet and dry paper, and I'll do that with my dad when he gets home. Set up this piece of glass because you need a perfectly flat surface to do this with. I've got the hose ready to sort of flush away all the bits of aluminium, and because it's high around like like the gap is down here, so it's good. To, it's obviously high around here, so just work it back and forward a couple of times. Hopefully I'll be able to see a difference in like texture um, between where it, the high spot has rubbed away and the low spot. So let's give it a go and I will tell you the results. After just five strokes in each direction I can already see the where the metal has been taken away on here. As It's just a bit... oh there you go, you can see the different shine. And up here, I don't know if you can see it up there or not, probably because my hands in the way, but yeah. See the different shine? Maybe, maybe not. I can. So yeah, yeah, now it's working. So a bit more and it should be right. Now I just had to buy a one dollar head gasket, but it's not much. Well that took about five minutes to do that one. It took a bit longer than I expected, but yeah, it's perfect now. See it's really shiny around around where it's had the metal taken away. So now on to number two. There we go, second one done. I could guarantee that if someone on YouTube um, whose account starts with D and ends in farm did that, he would say that, that is the re that's a redneck method, but I mean that's not a redneck method, that's, that's the method you do it with. There'd be a lot of people out there who are new to engines and would agree and say, oh, how did you work that out? And it's just, it's, come, on, come on guys, read the manuals, come on, you'll learn so much more. Although t today wasn't a very long day, I've got some beers chilling because they were in my room um, from about a week ago, so just put them in some water with some ice. Some two is new and a Jack Daniels. I'm going out tonight in about an hour, so I thought I'd better get my drink on um, just a bit before. So it wasn't too bad. Oval lights on, you probably can't see it. So it's not cold yet. A few more minutes on ice. Just go do this quickly. Oh. Seinfeld's on. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 